Welcome back to Soda City Living. Today, we're featuring Goat Daddy's Farm in Elgin. It's a farm, but also an animal sanctuary for animals that need a home. One of those animals is a camel. Jason tells us how Abu got to the farm and what his personality is like. That might surprise you, so take a look. So here's something we don't see often here in the Midlands or in America very often, a camel, and you've got one of these. Yes, yes, so these guys, this is a dromedary camel, um, and you can tell that because he's got one hump. So there's okay. one hump camels and two hump camels. He's got one big hump. And this guy came from um, a zoo. He actually had a broken leg, um, and we took him in, and he actually spent a couple weeks up at NC State Veterinary School getting his broken leg fixed. And now he's just going to literally live the rest of his life here doing absolutely nothing. Perfect. Um, camels are <laughs> a very large and dangerous animal. Um, so not a lot of people are equipped to take care of them. Luckily, our vet has got a lot of experience with camels and getting him from a young age, he was kind of able to coach us through how to, how to take care of him. And so what would you describe their personalities like? What would you compare it to? If anything? So he is like a two year old. That is the best <laughs> way. Everybody that I have talked to about camels are like, you know, what, what is like, what is a camel like? And it's like a two year old. For instance, if I walked away with this bag of carrots, he's going to run around and he's going to stomp his feet. Oh, he gets very angry, it. but he loves his carrots. So you can make him do anything. If I wanted him to do what's called cush, like if I wanted him to lay down, I could walk in with them and offer a carrot and just say kush kush and he will wow. kush down and he's actually learning that more so from this because he is deaf so he can't hear you oh. but it's uh we still say it just because he gets used to the vibrations and the movement of your mouth right and we train him to kush down but uh on our saturdays when we're open to the public the public actually feeds this guy carrots and nice. takes tons of takes tons of selfies with him he's very 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 friendly mm -hmm. and not dangerous from this side yes. of the fences yes. and he, he would never do anything to intentionally hurt someone mm -hmm. um but it's just being inside the enclosure with him could uh you know he could turn around and step on you accidentally he's about 1200 pounds so wow he's a big boy he is up. you want to get kisses <laughs> good boy that's everybody's favorite thing in the world to do with him <laughs> that's great so when these guys are actually um used for milk camel milk is one of the most expensive milks really? in the world it's about 70 dollars a quart my gosh um so and these guys um, are also used for meat uh, mm -hmm. in, in Africa, Egypt area. But in the U.S., they're normally used for like camel rides and mm -hmm. safaris and things like that. So camels only have bottom teeth in the front. Okay. So there's no top teeth. So he can't, like, <laughs> if you look in here, he can't hurt you. He's got these prehensile lips. I know that. So he can't hurt you from that <laughs> end. And you see, you can step back. Um, and there you go. Perfect. <laughs> very, very gentle. Yes. Wish up, Bubba. And he's got these prehensile lips that he will actually use to pull leaves off trees. These guys, the inside of their mouth is super hard, so he'll uh -huh. use it to eat cactuses, tree bark, pretty much anything. These guys in the wild have actually been known when they're hungry. If they come across like a dead animal, they'll actually eat dead animals. Wow. Um, so they're they're actually a, a technically an omnivore right. um, in the wild when wild. In captivity, we don't feed him anything but carrots and, and camel food. We, this is uh, one of our biggest expenses is baby carrots for this guy. He <laughs> loves his carrots and they don't have a lot of nutrition value but they're great for training him okay um, so as far as training him for different things the vet may need to do to him we use carrots a lot does he ever get full no no <laughs> no um, before he, yes pit. yes he is a bottomless <laughs> pit for sure wasn't that neat I love how Jason described Abu as a bottomless pit for carrots he could just eat them all day and Jason said it's not even bad for him and isn't that funny how his personality is similar to a toddler Next time, I'll have to see if Jason will get him to lay down for a carrot. Well, stay with us here on Soda City Living because there is more Goat Daddy's Farm after this.